So today, guys, is Pokemon Mystery Box time. We have this £35 Pokemon Mystery Box right here. And we're going to see what that gets you in 2020. So let's check it out. Hey, guys, my name's Matt Cully, and welcome to the channel. So we're going to kick start with the first commenter shout out. And the first commenter on that last video was the Pokemon. Thanks so much, buddy, for the comment, as you've clearly pointed. Yes, you were first. And thanks to everyone that commented, watched, liked, subscribed during that last video. Again, guys, you blow me away. The support's incredible. Thank you. Speaking of support and subscribing, guys, we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. So if you want to help us hit that goal and want to support the channel, then do consider hitting that subscribe button. And why not ring that alert bell? You won't be disappointed because every single Friday night, we do a live stream giveaway here on the channel. Not just that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bye, Clee. Bye, bye. So we have a live stream giveaway every single Friday night, guys. And we have a big subscriber giveaway coming up at the end of the month where I'm going to be giving away a Darkness of Blaze booster box to one of my subscribers. So subscribe, hit the alert bell, and while you're at it, why not give this video a thumbs up? Thank you very much. Okay, so today, guys, we have this £35 Pokemon mystery box, guys. And uh, we're going to see what that actually gets you in 2020 because, as we know, Pokemon prices are insane right now. So... Uh, gonna be interested to see what we get. And this £35 mystery box in particular was supplied by a Pokemon guy. You can go and head to his website right now and pick up one of these yourself or one of the other variations, £20, 75 150 or even a custom made Pokemon mystery box guys. And if you go and use this code right here, you can actually get 10% off all mystery box orders. And while you're there, you can even go and pick up and pre-order some Vivid Vault guys. So if you haven't done it already, go and check out his website. Honestly, you won't be disappointed. His stuff is incredible. Right, I guess we should find out uh, how we get on in that mystery box. So, let's rip it. Right, so, uh, as you can see, there's actually a couple, few more boxes than I mentioned here. And that is because I want to show you what we've got. So, when I got this delivery, this is a £35 one that came like this. And then these are two £20 versions. We actually had three of these. But what we're doing is every Friday night, um, we do a live stream giveaway on the channel so i picked up three of these off him and uh, i'm giving away one each friday so do make sure to hit the subscribe button guys because only subscribers can win these so make sure you come and get involved with that anyway let's get into this 35 pound one i realize my mouse is still here what is that about right so uh 35 pound mystery box time guys and uh yeah let's see how we get on while i'm just unpacking this uh, I want to remind you guys, we now stream over on Twitch, so do come and give us a follow on Twitch if you're into like gaming and just general chat and just hanging out, guys. So yeah, go and check out. It's linked in the description down below. Right, uh, boom. Let's see how what we've got. We've got all sorts of stuff in here actually. Today. So we got. So now I know normally. Okay, so we've got these. These these are normally holographics or something of that sort of variety guys uh so there looks like there's a few in there of that look there's even more actually there's two more oh actually that's that's oh wait that one is even showing god right okay so there we go we've got a dragonite uh where's it it's, it is a top but i've not it looks really different i don't know about you guys does that it just looks very unique to me so we've got the dragonite uh, tops card there guys which is on show we then have a whole bunch of energy cards we're obviously not going to open them because we know what's inside that uh, we have uh, some custom made boosters we'll crack into all of these and see what comes inside my question of the day to you is what you think the value of this is like after watching this video so how do you think it stacks up uh, his 20 pound ones are normally incredible so uh, I'm expecting good things from this one so we got the old uh, these, these were the ones that Came out of what's it's right when they I, what's it's or pringles what's what's it's or pringles it could be what's it's i'm not sure so yeah we got them there guys Put this to one side and then we have one of the stacks magnets as well Ticarita, very nice okay put that down there looks like we've got some coins in here as well i think is that ray quasar and i want to say this who's this pit club i think is behind yeah pit club i was right and uh, oh, there we go, a nice little figurine as well. This is not Piplup, the I forgot to say, guy. If you're new to the channel, 
I'm, I'm terrible with Pokemon. I literally always uh, forget them. So yeah, have at it. <laughs> Right, and then we have another, this dog tag, we got this in one of the £20 ones actually, and we have a cinder quill, uh, oh there's two dog tags in there actually, there we go, we got two, a cinder quill and a quillava dog tag there, very nice indeed, there's something a bit, and they're actually metal, what's it got, like measurements and all sorts, that's pretty cool there guys, and then we have a couple of booster packs, we have a darkness ablaze, oh Charizard chance, and a rebel clash, will we get that Charizard in there, we shall find out. And then uh, a Voltorb. Okay, so I'm actually going to kick off with the booster patch, you know. I really fancy doing these first to see if we pull any magic. So we'll go Rebel Clash. Uh, by the way, the code cards, they are completely free and up for grabs, guys. So fill your boots with those. And if you get anything good, do come join my Discord, actually. Uh, we're building really nicely, well over 100 members now. And uh, there's always actually code cards up for grabs in it. So if you like code cards, it's well worth joining over just for that but great chat as well so magic up we got the pikachu in the background there a bronzer holographic very nice we've got the clefable holographic there and uh, i think i might actually have a few of these from rebel clash quite a common one i have to say but nice we've got ourselves a holographic chuck that there then uh darkness of blaze guys and I uh, still don't have that Char I haven't pulled a Charizard on this channel in a long time. And uh, yeah, I am well overdue a Charizard. So uh, I tell you what, that'd be so funny. I've done all these videos. I've opened a ton. I did a whole case of Hidden Fates tins, nine tins, 36 boosters. Still no Charizard out of that one. It's been crazy. So if, if I was to get one today, pfft, we'd be laughing, right? Clink Marini, Torchic, Starly, Skarmory. Electric and oh, <laughs> no way! What we have the golden secret rare Rillaboom right there, guys. Oh, oh, damn. Um, damn it. My sleeves, okay, it is all sleeved up now, and uh, bang centralized really nicely we're going to actually be sending some stuff off to get grady so we might try a new company and maybe this will be one of them i don't know but uh well banging start to the video hey <laughs> that's awesome wicked and uh let's crack into oh what a start oh my god i literally was considering leaving that to last as well um oh yeah really happy really happy right uh, so let's have a look oh it looks like we picked up this looks like it could be an old a wizard of the coast one so oh gym heroes gym challenge stuff this is awesome so unknown i'm on a high right now hi all the time uh sand true sand slash i love that zap dose from the fossil as well non-holographic awesome and a Pokemon breeder, which we actually did see, which is awesome. Like I say, he really puts uh, a lot of effort into making these things. And I don't think I've actually come across uh, better mystery boxes on eBay or anything like that for a long time. He was selling them on eBay, but he's moved it all to his website now because he is doing the pre-orders. And we got an Ultra Necromancer promo there, another holographic to add to the pile. Um, yeah, so he is doing great things. A Pokemon guy, I can't rate him enough. Actually, on the Discord, a lot of the people on Discord have picked up mystery boxes from him and they've put their photos up. So there's a long line of recommendations for him. So I've got to say, so far, man, you're, you're smashing um, what should be in the mystery box and putting a lot of people to shame, if I'm honest. Alone a Geodude and a Latios as well. That's Sky Legend. Maybe not, I don't know. Weirdly, on TikTok at the minute, which I now have a TikTok, by the way, if you want to go follow me here, uh, I actually um, am doing a challenge, like a bit of a daily thing, and I'm sticking up the set badges and getting you guys to try and remember what they are. So, uh, yeah, it's funny, because I'm really bad at remembering myself. So to ask you to do it, it's, yeah, I don't know. Ironic? I, I'm not sure if that's the phrase. Publio, that's cute, actually. Uh, Steeny, Pell Pep. Baston, Marsh, Domp, and a Magnium. And uh, I don't know about you, but like Chikorita and like Magnium, they're pretty underrated Pokemon, right? You know, like obviously like Feral Gator and um, Typhlosion got all the all the praise really, but I, I, I like pretty much all starter Pokemon, except I find like 
Sobble and into Leon to be like a little bit wet. I don't know. You know. Okay, they're water type, but I don't know. Maybe you know what I mean. Uh, right. So he often puts one card on the front just to cover up what's in it. So if you do pick one up, I think mean, that's how he makes them. Just one flipped over. Don't put it to the back. Keep it on the front. Uh, Metapod from the Evolutions. Hit one Chan. Love this artwork. If you get the Hit one Lee as well, and it's got them like reversed around, it's really cool. Crocodile. Welder, and we have an Eevee promo. This is the um, Unbroken Bonds one? I'm not sure, actually. The only thing about mystery boxes is the organizing afterwards, I have to say. Because I keep I keep all my commons, uncommons, and basically not every non-holographic and reverse rare stay in like these card organizers that go in rows. And then I have to divide these up to their badges, and then I slot them all in uh, into it. Uh, Torchic, Sampor, Urasing, Clefairy, Clefable, sorry, Clefable, and a Spiritomb, really random Pokemon, to be honest, isn't it, a Spiritomb, very strange, just a ball of gas, and uh, we are on to the last one of these, and then once we've done that, guys, we've just got a stack of holographics, well, what I believe are holographics, should I say, they normally are, when we've done these £20 ones, normally the individual sleeved ones are a holographic, or maybe like a Wizard of the Coast, or something like that, so it'll be interesting to see, uh, Don Splats, all right, on, Kubota, Crab Mendel, Parasect, and we have the Chansey. I'm McDonald's Chansey, no doubt. Um, yep, yeah, I know. i literally just been looking at the McDonald's logos to check them up on uh, on my TikTok. So uh, I, I know what they are. And um, I like the McDonald's ones. It's great because it's a small set. So it's one of the only ones I seem to ever complete. I don't know about you guys, but I've not completed like anything uh, lately. Go and uh, tank our way through this, shall we? So... What have we got? Three, two, one. Ooh, Altaria, reverse holographic. Very nice, an E-series card. Expedition, nope, nope, not Acropolis, not Expedition. Oh, I'm terrible. But anyway, very nice. Condition is fantastic on that. That can go straight back in that sleeve. Any of these old Z-series stuff is great. I did a video a while back where I went for a friend's collection, but it was when I had like my old setup. So I'm actually probably going to go for it again because he has some incredible cars. I reckon his collection's got to be worth five, six grand now. I think at the time it was worth a thousand, but with everything that's happened. Bam! Tr <gasps> Full art support card there. Fighting Fists. Am I right? That's really nice. Look at the difference. I don't remember the support writing looking like that, but that is freaking awesome. What an opening we are having, guys. This is mad. Thank you so much. What? Textured as well with the stars in the background. That is very nice. Karina, thank you, thank you. Right, I told you it's going well. And... Bosh. <laughs> Full out support card again. We have the Fisherman. And, um... Lovely. Really nice. Full art cards are awesome, right? I actually quite often think they look better than the rainbow rares. I, I don't know if you agree, guys. Let me know below. But I think full arts are probably the best looking ones of the lot. So there we go. Another one goes into the pile. Will you add that Rillaboom in, guys? It's actually a crazy opening. Really good. Right. And then we got the Mimikyu Secret Rare. That is from Cosmic Eclipse. These were such a cool idea in that set. Hopefully they come back around again in another one uh, during Sword and Shield. But I liked the way they did Secret Rares. Very cool. But now they've got V Max and V and Full Art and Rainbow and Gold. Maybe this is one too many of the rares. I don't know. But it'd be quite cool if they did because I'm a fan. Two more to go, guys. And we'll have a quick recap. Bosh. And there we go. Look at that Ferrogator E Series card. That one is Expedit. God damn it, Matt. Why am I not remembering these? The, ah, that's so annoying. Right, very frustrating. I'm sure you're shouting in the comments right now. Matt, get it right. Um, but anyway, uh, very nice. Such detailed drawing on that one, actually, isn't it? Really nice. And um, conditions are little. It's not a grader, but it's one definitely to add to the collection. That's for sure. Okay, last card, guys. And... Uh, Let's see what we are going to get. Three, two, one. And we have a Lucario Shiny Vault from Hidden... Not Hidden Fates, actually, is it? Shining Legends? It's a Shining Legends, maybe. And... Lovely. Um, 
all shiny vault style cards they just remind me so much of wizard of the coast holographics how it was very simple pokemon in the center big flashy background rather nowadays they're not i don't think holographics they've lost their allure they used to look so cool and the shiny vaults they look awesome so that is really great let's have a recap of what we got okay so here you go guys we got that lucario that feral gator i know it's not holographic but still a great card mimic you fisherman karina very cool card altaria love this reverse holographic e-series card oh the Chansey from McDonald's, guys. A Spiritomb, an Eevee, a Magnum, a Latios there, an Ultra Necromancer, a Clefable, and then that Rillaboom gold card. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Remember, go and comment down below and let me know what you think of that £35 Pokemon Mystery Box and whether it was worth getting. My answer, yes. And while you wait for the next video and that giveaway coming up Friday, do make sure to hit that subscribe button up above. Drop a massive thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. Go and check out some of my videos up there. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.